Rivers, such as the Sapta Sindhava seven rivers", Sanskrit, Sapta Sindhava smiley face, play a prominent part in the hymns of the Rig Veda, and consequently in early Hindu religion. Vedic texts have a wide geographical horizon, speaking of oceans, rivers, mountains and deserts. Eight summits of the earth, three shore or desert regions, seven rivers, asthau vyahyat kakubha prathivyam tri donva yojana sapta sindhan rv, i.35.8. The Vedic land is a land of the seven rivers flowing into the ocean. It encompasses the regions from Gandhara to Kurukshetra. Mythology <inaudible> 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 A recurring theme in the Yajurveda is that of Indra slaying Vritra literally, the obstacle, liberating the rivers. In a variant of the myth, Indra smashes the Vala cave, releasing the cows that were within. Though the two myths are separate, rivers and cows are often poetically correlated in the Rigveda, for example in 3.33, a notable hymn describes the crossing of two swollen rivers by the chariots and wagons of the Bharata tribe. 3.33.1 Candelas like two bright mother cows who lick their youngling, Vipas and Sutudri speed down their waters, trans. Griffith <laughs> Seven rivers The seven rivers are a group of seven chief rivers of uncertain or fluctuating identification the number seven is of greater importance than the exact members of the group compare the Saptarishi of the Avesta and also the later seven seas and the seven climes. The Avestas Hapta Hindu are preemptively equated with the Vedic Sapta Sindhava or Visa Vis, in Vendidad 1.18 these are described to be the fifteenth of the sixteen lands created by Mazda. Note, the term Sapta Sindhava, commonly used in Hindi and other Indian languages, is the nominative plural in Sanskrit dropping the final visarga in conformity with the convention when expressing Sanskrit words in modern languages. Sapta Sindhu, often seen in English, is in the singular, and is therefore ungrammatical. <laughs> Identity of the Seven Rivers It is not entirely clear how the seven rivers were intended to be enumerated. They are often located in northern India, eastern Pakistan. If the Sarasvati and the five major rivers of India are included Shutudri, Sutlej, Parushni, Ravi, Ashikni, Chenab, Vatasta, Jhelum, Vipasha, Bees, the latter all tributaries of Sindhu, Indus, one river is missing, probably the Kuba. The Sindhu is a special case, having feminine or masculine gender. Other possibilities include the Arjikya or Sushoma, compare also the list of ten rivers, both east and west of the Indus, in the Natastuti Sukta, RV 10.75. In 6.61.10, Sarasvati is called, She with seven sisters. Saptasvasa indicating a group of eight rivers, the number seven being more important than the individual members see also Saptarshi, Hapta Karsuar, Haft Keshvar in Avestan, so that the list of the Sapta Sindhava may not have been fixed or immutable. In RV 10.64.8 and RV 10.75.1, three groups of seven rivers are referred to Tri Sapta Sasra Nadia, thrice seven wandering rivers, as well as ninety-nine rivers. The Sapta Sindhava region was bounded by Saraswati in the east, by the Sindhu in the west and the five in between were Sachidru, Vipasa, Asikni, Purusni and Vitasta. Not all researchers agree with this interpretation. According to other interpretation, Sapta Sindhu is only a small subset of the Rig Vedic terrain and its disproportionate importance derives from it being the original homeland of the victorious Bharata Trutsu tribe. Geography of the Rigveda Identification of Rigvedic rivers is the single most important way of establishing the geography of the early Vedic civilization. Rivers with certain identifications stretch from eastern Afghanistan to the western Gangetic Plain, clustering in the undivided Punjab the region's name means, five rivers. A number of names can be shown to have been re-applied to other rivers as the center of Vedic culture moved eastward from the central Vedic heartland in undivided Punjab. It is possible to establish a clear picture for the latest phase of the Rigveda, thanks to the Natastuti Sukta 10.75, which contains a geographically ordered list of rivers. The most prominent river of the Rigveda is the Sarasvati, next to the Indus. 
The Rig Veda mentions Saraswati River as between Yamuna to the east and River Sutlej to the west. The Mahabharata clearly talks about the river Saraswati drying up. The mighty and perennial Saraswati River flowed from the Himalayan glaciers to the Ran of Kutch where it emptied into the Arabian Sea. Dwaraka of Lord Krishna was part of this civilization. Ganges was also flowing at that time into the Bay of Bengal. Saraswati started drying up in 4000 BC due to tectonic plate shifts which blocked the glacier source, and made this river dependent on rains, not melting ice. Gradually the whole river was buried under the Thar desert sand dunes, leaving only disconnected pools and lakes here and there. Yamuna River soon started pouring into Ganges instead of Saraswati. When the Saraswati River started drying up, the whole civilization may have migrated to fertile lands, some to Ganges, some to southwest of India from Goa to Kerala. List In the geographical organization of the following list, it has to be kept in mind that some names appearing both in early and in late hymns may have been reapplied to new rivers during the composition of the Rigveda. Northwestern rivers, western tributaries of the Indus. Tirstama, Sasartu, Anitaba, listed once in 5.53.9, with the Afghan rivers Rasa, Avestan Ranga, Raha, Kuba, Krumu, Sarayu, Avenuist, Haroyu. Rasa on the upper Indus, often a mythical river, Avestan Ranga, Scythian Ra, Svetya, Gilgit, Kuba, Kabul, Greek Kofan, Krumu, Kuram, Mahatnu, along with the Gomati and Krumu, Suvasta, Swat in RV 8.19.37, Gori, Panchkora, Kusava, Kuna, the Indus and its minor eastern tributaries. Sindhu Indus, Sindhu also means stream, giant river, generically Sushoma Sohan Arjikya Haro Central Rivers Rivers of the Punjab Vatasta Jhelum Asikni Chenab Purusni Ravi Vipas Bees Sutudri Sutlej Maradvardhist Central Rivers Rivers of Haryana Sarasvati references to the Sarasvati River in the Rigveda are identified with the present-day Gagar River, although originally it might have been the name of the Argandab and Helmand rivers, as a possible locus of early Rigvedic references. Diarsadvati, Apaya RV 3.23.4, Mahabharata Apaga. Eastern rivers Asmanvati Asan, Yamuna Ganga Sarayu in Uttar Pradesh Gomati or Adi Ganga in Uttar Pradesh Gamti, Gandaki Salamavati Ernavati Yavyavati Zhob River See also